Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City Skylines Submitted City Traffic Fix and City Fix live stream. In this video, I'm going to fix someone else's city and its traffic. Our city today is brought to us by uh, Bullwis18. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, the title is Lake Valley. The description is Lake Valley by... Uh, oh, actually, I think it's Bull Lewis. I apologize. Bull Lewis 18. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bull Lewis. I appreciate the opportunity to work on the city. Thank you for uploading it. Looking forward to uh, uh, getting it fixed. So uh, I have run the city um, with no despawning. No despawning to see where the traffic would bottom out at. Tim, hello. How are you? Welcome back. Hope you're having a good week. And this is where the traffic bottomed out at. 24%. This is a medium-sized city. We're at 58,000 on the population. I think I think uh, it's a little bit larger than that at initial load. And so the population has started to decline because the traffic is so bad. So anyways, it's at 58,000, probably declining. Uh, name is Lake Valley. There is uh, unlimited money on, so I prefer to have limited money on, but nonetheless, this is uh, how the game was originally set up, so that's how we're going to play it. And it is losing money, 11000 a week. Long day today, but you're off till Sunday. Okay, well, I hope you have a good uh, rest of the week and enjoy the time off. So that's nice. Good for you. Um, so... I'm going to play the city just for a moment, just so you can see the traffic flow, and then we're going to load up the original save game that Bull Lewis uh, uploaded, and we're going to fix it from there. So let me hit play, and you can see the traffic flow. That's the thumbnail picture right there. Oh, wow. There's like no movement. No movement in the red areas. Wow. Wow. gonna make more videos this week finish your current project oh well, well um, would you like to share what your project is so a little bit I mean it's just kind of deadlock traffic isn't it so anyways 24% let's load up the original game and let's start uh, working on it oh it's, it's like the drawing videos right Tim the drawing videos All right, so let me load up the original. As always, Stream 5's music playing in the background. You can catch it on most music platforms all over the world. Um, okay, loading up the original game here. <clears throat> oh, and while we're waiting on that, uh, there is a Discord. There you go, there's the link for that. And there is a merch store link for that and a way to donate uh, live streams are on YouTube Twitch D live and Twitter simultaneously you can watch on whichever one you would like previous videos are on YouTube there's actually a playlist for city skylines and a lot of tips and fixes um, I would share my channel but your discord doesn't have a selection yes that is, that is correct you are correct about that um, okay, let me put it back up on the screen. Here you go. If you want, you can put in uh, the name of your channel right here on the chat, Tim. Um, so you can go ahead and do that right now if you'd like. So this is the cool thing that um, from, from the original game that uh, uh, Bull Lewis created. Look at this. Good job. 
they did not have despawning turned on from the very beginning. So great. You're trying to fit you're trying to create your city the hard way, and I respect that. That's wonderful. Here's the original traffic upon load. <coughs> 66%. So it goes from 66%, which is actually not too bad, and then it just plummets if you hit play. So um, we're we're gonna first uh, update the traffic manager settings to make sure that those are fine. So let me do that really quick. And so for traffic manager, we want to make sure that we've got simulation accuracy set up. It's set at very high right now. I'm changing it to very low. Gameplay, disable despawn is already set up. Oh, advanced vehicle AI is not turned on. So we're going to turn that on. Uh, there we go. Enable advanced vehicle AI. And automatically add traffic lights is turned off, which is great. That is the right way to go. So that is good. Now, does... Did, uh, did Lewis... Um, did, it, did they put in a lot of traffic lights? Let me put the city back up. <clears throat> Let's just take a quick look. Are there a lot of city lights, traffic lights in this city? See that? I don't see I don't see them over here. Oh, there's a few. One, two. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be very. Oh. Uh, there are quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, there are. So we're gonna use the feature in Traffic Manager where we can turn off all of the traffic lights all at once. So let me do that. Remove all existing traffic lights. Done. Very good. Okay. Okay, let me put it back up. There we go. Okay, let's start fixing the city. I mean, step one is, of course, getting the traffic manager settings uh, correct. All right. How is the city laid out? Is the industry in one spot? It is not. So good job, Lewis. Uh, got some on the south side, uh, center east, center east, I guess. And then on the west side. So uh, good job for not putting it all in one, one place. Now, uh, is, the, is there specialized industry? There's no districts over here, so they can't be specialized. There are districts over here. And lo and behold, oil. This entire industry is oil. There's industry that bleeds up here. And that's forestry. Yep. Forestry specialization. So... Um, the forestry is not too bad because forestry does replenish itself. Oil does not. And this is way too much for this size city. So I suspect if I look at the import export, there's too much oil being imported and too much being exported. Let's go take a look. Yep. Total import 5,900. And it looks like it's a purple color. Dark purple oil. That's the majority of it. And look at that, 2300 being exported, dark purple oil. So one of the reasons why there's a traffic problem in the city is because the industry is the, the, the industry is not set up properly. So what we're going to do, districts, industry, specialization, generic, boom. That makes this all generic. And so what's going to happen is all of this industry is going to get destroyed and rebuilt with generic industry that will have a dramatic positive impact actually on the traffic now uh, that's one part next part is do we have the Hadron Collider no we do not great how are our policies I don't see any citywide policies what about in the districts do we see any citywide is any district policies I don't see any no Okay, that's fine. Let's get to it. Um, so, we have a cargo 
train terminal. We know that creates a lot of traffic. This is where some traffic was being created. Does this have a queue? Yeah, there's a one way right here and it there can be a queue that goes down here. And there oh, there's two ways to get in. It looks like you come in from this loop in or you come in from this way in. You hit the cargo train terminal and you can go back this way or you can go back this way. Um, but there's a highway right here and there's no immediate access to and from the highway. And there's a highway here. I, it's very rare. I think I've seen it before, but I don't really recall. Maybe this is the first time. I've never seen someone put a clover leaf actually over water like that. Uh, normally you got two highways connecting together. You put a stack interchange there, but I'm, I'm not going to replace it just because it's right over the water. Uh, I think if I did do a stack interchange, it would be over on the side. But see how this highway just terminates into this road? <laughs> hey, Rebel, welcome back. You like the traffic fixes? Great, thank you, thank you. So see how this highway just de terminates right here? It should really come down here to the cargo train terminal. That would be a lot more effective. That would be a lot more effective. Um, so that's what I think we should start out with. That will help the traffic here, which will help the traffic for the industry area. And then this is also industry. How do you get back there? Like if you're bringing in some forestry stuff or exporting forestry stuff, you would come up here, take a right here, hit this roundabout, come over here, hit this roundabout. What the? Oh my god. It's a labyrinth to get back. So let's try to make it a more direct connection. Um, let's go for it. I think I've given enough of a, a, a prologue. By the way, what's your unemployment rate? 16%? That's high. And by the way, not only am I going to... Oh, jeez. This is a dam? Okay. Uh, not only am I going to fix the traffic, but I'm also going to fix the... Um, uh, I'm going to make the city profitable. People drive on the right side of the road. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh. Okay, yeah, everything looks fine. Yeah, okay. Um, I was checking to see if I had network extensions turned on. You don't want to use network extensions if you're building a city. I only use it in case like a submitted city used it so that the roads show up. That's all. Um, so what we can do is we can bring this over here and terminate it here. I don't know why I just did that. My goodness. And I want to terminate it. Into this road. Why is this raised up? Interesting. Is that a six lane? 
Is that, I don't know if that's actually necessary. We're going to just bring it down. There we go. And so I'm just connecting this highway up. What the? You want to connect right there? Okay. It's too close. I want a little bit of room. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then I want another road going back there, but I, I don't want them too close together. Maybe like coming from right here or something. So let's do this four lane here. I don't know why it's wanting to do a bridge. There. I think that's good. Making that two way rather than one way and then another the other part of the highway will start from right here so the highway just starts come on give me the give me the line there you go. There we go. A little bit sharp at the end, but that's fine. Okay, so now these two are not very close together, so that'll help with the traffic. And now the vehicles, I have to finish it, but when they come out of here, they'll have an easy way, I mean, that they, right to the highway. Right to the highway. Um, and now we've got this road for the dam. Do you actually even need to use it? I'll just do it for fun. I don't think it's even necessary. Yeah, I, okay. What the? I can. Oh. Seeing if that gives me the height that I need, that's what I'm trying to check out. This is so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to do. After I removed it, I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to go underground. So, yes, Re Rebel just put in the chat, maybe go underground? And so I, I fully agree. Fully agree. There. There. I was going to try to put the highway a little bit lower, and then after I did that, I thought, no. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a good idea. Really. We are on the same page. Okay, excellent. Um... All right, so now with this cargo train terminal, we need to do a queue. We need to do a queue for its entrance. And we've got plenty of space, which is wonderful. So we're going to do...
making that a no there we go uh, instead of a one a two lane one way we're making it a four lane two way road and then from here we start the queue there we go and for this size city think I think that may be good it's gonna be a little bit of a guess That may be... I, I, I think that should be... Uh, l large enough. And then people can go out the same way if they want to. That road is way too big. It's a little too steep. Oh, yeah, that is. Um, okay, so they can either go out that way or they can come on back there I did it that way on purpose that's why I made this uh, road two-way so you can come back into the queue if you want which you most likely won't Otherwise, you just head back out and hit the highway. And then there's a way out to the highway right here, an on-ramp if you need it. If you need it. Uh, so that is good. Let's take care of the... Um... Electrical. Okay. So... We've updated the highway, we've updated the queue, so that's very good. The other thing is that this labyrinth to get back to this industry area, we want to do a little bit of a, improve that. Um, and so it would be nice for there to be a better intersection. And then this one is kind of not, this is too much. There does need to be these two lanes right here coming off this roundabout. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that though. That's not as big of an issue. Addressing the industry is. So maybe we can put it off of. It'd be nice to do it off of this road right here. Move this guy over. I want to put it off of this road right here. There we go. What's the... You got a lot of circles going on. Um... I think I'm going to do this to be safe. There. go good connecting the highway connecting the highway <clears throat> um, off ramp on ramp off ramp and on ramp great hook it up to the neighborhood 
Can we make it a little bit prettier? There we go. Great. And then let's bring this down here. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with entering it right into the queue. That, that wouldn't really... That's, that's exiting anyway, so I think that would be fine. And that way, if some people need to hit the uh, cargo train terminal, they can. So I, I, I kind of like that design a little bit. Look at that! Look at that! That way they can come over here, come around, and if they want to enter the queue, they can, and if they want to get out, they can. I like that a lot. So that works. That works. That will address the traffic right here. Okay. So we're going to make this an exit only lane. Bam. And let's follow the traffic. Is this an exit only lane? Nope. Exit only lane to help out. Mm, let's turn around. Exit only. Nope. There we go. So that'll help out right there. What do we got coming over here? Ooh, look at this intersection, huh? So this should be an exit only to the left. And maybe that should be left turn only, so use the right two lanes. And the right lane should be exit only. Okay. It's an interesting intersection. And then a lot of people are on the left lane. Make that an exit only. I think that's good. You see cars here. Uh, you know, I wonder if there were lights in the roundabout. I wonder if there were lights in the roundabout. You got the roundabout set up? Um, no. We want to remove these. No. Okay, what about block the box? Mm. I'll leave that one because it's coming from the highway. Fine. No. No, don't block the box if you are coming onto the roundabout. Block the box if you are on the roundabout. That should help it out there. What about this one? Yeah, you see how these people are stopped? It looks like it's not set up. Yeah, there we go. Block the box if you're on the roundabout. Bam. And you got any other in lane instructions? Intersection signs? Nope. Okay, I think that's good. How else do you get here? So from this whole highway, there's not a way to get onto this forestry area? Um, I mean, this seems like it's a really good spot to have an off-ramp. There's no traffic, so I'll, I'll just skip it and I'll come back. There's some traffic here, because there was a light here. And fortunately the light is gone. Straight. And people are waiting on the roundabout. Yeah. It's because they were yielding, and so they're waiting there. That's why I don't like to use the intersection signs. Block the box, good. Block the box, good. Block the box, good, 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 good. Where else do we see traffic? Right here. Oh yeah, this is another industry section. Um, you know, there's a highway right here. There doesn't need to be a highway right next to it. This one would be fine. But I mean, it's so, so small that that's kind of unnecessary. The highway should be like much longer if it's really going to be used. Is this the edge of the map? No, you can buy that area once it opens up. I think, yeah. Yeah, so this would be fine to have a highway. You'd have to do a little bit of demolition, but that's fine. But this one does not need to be here at all. It should just be a regular road. So let's see here. You come up here. You hit this roundabout. Boom. Boom. Remove those. If you're on the roundabout, 
Block the box. There we go. So this is the roundabouts are not set up properly, so this will help. Okay, so there's that. That will help these guys hopefully come in. Then these guys are coming in and they come down south. Exit only. Then they come through this and then they hit this roundabout. Yeah. So I, I think the roundabouts actually hurt the city. You know, frankly, you, you don't really need roundabouts except in certain intersections. Um, so it's good to kind of try to just solve it with a regular road and, you know, doing your... Um, making sure you got the lane arrows correct, the right size of the road, and then if that doesn't work, then you put a roundabout there. All right, so then they kind of come over here, and they were probably stuck at a light, and this should be left turn like that. I think that's good. Is there any other place where there's a lot of traffic? I think we can hit play now. Yeah, we're. I, I guess this is really where it's at. <laughs> so let's hit play. It seems to be flowing okay. This should be a right turn only. How are we doing over here? You got one lane doing two things. Or I, I, that's me. That's me. I did that. So I'll do... I'll update it to try to help it out. And to get into... Oh, it's a one-way coming in this way, isn't it? Um, you know, I don't think we need to do that anymore. I think this can be a two-way road. And why can't this be updated? Hold on, pause. I think uh, maybe the train, maybe Road to Anarchy or Move It was used to update this. There we go. Why is the train even elevated? It doesn't need to be. <laughs> There's like two bridges, but only one of them needs to be up high. All right, let's uh, get that. Let's put the train thing back down on the ground. Okay, so that's good. Kind of helps with... Otherwise, with that one way, right? There was a one way to get here and a one way to get here. So the people from the east, there was no way for them to cross to the west. So uh, this will improve the way that the neighborhoods are connected one to the other. All right, so let's hit play. Q is definitely being used. Do people come in on the correct side and leave on the correct side? So they're coming in here. I think they leave out here. Well, right now they're leaving out here. That's weird. The hell? Super odd. All right, well, we'll just let that go. There we go. Right turn it to get in there. You know, the, the queue may not be big enough. I, I thought I made it big enough, but I'm wrong about that. It should be big enough once this industry gets repaired. You know, because I remember I changed the zoning on that. All right, no problem, no problem. 
Let's uh, bring some power over here. There we go. Yeah, that should help. The electrical is not connected from one side to the other. There we go. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. And once this fills in, that, that electrical issue should be addressed. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, oh, that's huge. Okay. We need a, apparently a bigger, bigger queue here. Slight change, slight uh, expansion, not a whole lot. We, we may have to make it bigger, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Well, this is looks good, right? This was stuck, that looks good. Oh, we got a problem right here. Okay. This looks like it's flowing properly. Where else? Um, busy, but it's moving. A lot of them are in the middle lane. A lot of them want to take a right, so the right two lanes can take a right. How about that? Most people want to take a right, so right two lanes can take a right. There we go. Should hopefully help it out. You got lane instructions right here or anything? No, oh, I don't see any. Block the box. Block the box. Block. Nope. Good. Okay. So, both of these areas, residential, commercial, mixed, they have only one way to get to the highway? One way, just right here, this roundabout, and one right here. And these folks have a way down here. How come, how come they don't have like a fast way to get to the highway? Like you know, they could they could just have like an on ramp right here. Boom. I mean, that's a little bit close to that intersection, but. Um. Yeah, you know, that that could probably help out. I, I just, I think a little bit of frontage roads, maybe something here could be helpful. This is a major highway, so frontage roads would be really useful right there. Crossovers. Um, what do you mean by crossovers exactly, Rebel? Are you talking about like uh, a road coming here, crossing over the highway and going to the other side? Is that what you mean? I mean, like, I think this is a real highway, and so it, it would be good to have multiple highway intersections. And so I'm, I'm actually looking at just replacing this and putting one highway intersection right here and another highway intersection right here. I don't know if it'll fit, though. 
Let me see. Can I, could I by any chance put in two? One, two. I think so. I think so. Yes, so um, what what Rebel is saying is that maybe having some another road connecting the right side to the left side, and that is correct. And uh, so that's what I do want to do. And so I'm either thinking of doing just um, some on-ramps and off-ramps or replacing this and putting some more intersections in. Oh, look at that. The buildup right there was was happening. It looks like it's working its way down. Excellent. I think that's good. What's the traffic flow? Ha! We're done. 41 minutes. There you go. There you go. City solved. No despawning. Uh, let's get it profitable. Interest rate is... A little bit on the low side, so we can beef it up. Uh, yes, no, I understand, Rebel. I know that's what you were meaning, just a road going over the highway connecting the right to the left. And so what I want to do is I want to connect the right to the left along with the highway. Um, are you, you got mass transit? Oh, you do? Good job. You got a lot of people using it? 1,200 people waiting. We got to beef this up. From seven cars to 14? What about the other line? You got a lot of people using your... Wow. Good job. That's a sign of a really good mass transit system. Lewis, nice. Nice. Yeah, you just want to monitor the, uh, the amount of people riding it. And so that'll have a positive impact right there. Okay, what about your electrical usage? It's too high. The production is too much, so we can reduce the electrical. It's too much electrical. What about your water? You produce 600,000. Drainage is 11. Meaning like 1.1 million, so that's a little bit too much, so we can reduce that. Uh, mm. How's your trash? You produce 397, and you're picking up 816. It's a little bit too much. Oh my god! What, the people in this part of your city are just filthy, or what? Let's start emptying these landfill sites, because then you can destroy them. We'll empty both of those. All three of those. Because you've got so many here. They create a lot of traffic. So that's why it's good to start destroying them. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people watching. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the City Skyline Submitted City Traffic Fix. And City Fix. We're actually making really good progress. We actually fixed the traffic already. We're at 83%. On a population of 59,000. And the city was losing money and we've made it profitable. What is this doing? Is this emptying? Okay, good. That's already emptying. Excellent. Alright, so this is a full-blown highway. I want to work on this. Can I make this a stack interchange? And get rid of this? Let me go to town on this one. Let me go to town on this one so I can set this whole section up properly for the future. Diego, if you add a turbine interchange, it can handle a mouthful of traffic. Traffic flow is smooth. Yes, yeah, so what Diego is talking about is... Uh, I don't know if I have it... Um, yeah, he's talking about this, the most popular of which is Timbo's Turbine Interchange. So that's what he's talking about. Those are uh, quite good for handling traffic, but they're not as good as a stack interchange. So we're, we're going to use a stack interchange instead. So we're going to up 
update this middle part of the highway. And we're going to do integrated frontage roads as well. And so you're going to see the integrated frontage roads of the stack interchange match right up with the highway intersections. And so that'll be very good because this is a big thoroughfare that connects the outside connections to this city. All right, so let's start out with the stack. No. Uh, yeah, actually, we can start out with the stack. There we go. And... I want to make sure I pop it right in the middle. Let's get these... There we go. And welcome, Diego. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Um, so I want to put this right in the center so it, the frontage roads can just drop right through. Okay. Just need to flatten the ground out a little bit. It's already pretty flat. So that'll set the city up really nicely for the future, you know, since we've kind of already solved the traffic as it is, but it'll help it out for the future as it grows. Didn't do enough. There we go. That should be good. All right. So let me zoom out, make sure I get the right placement. Yeah, that's nice. Put it up. There we go. Okay. Let's drop the highway straight down. So that I have an idea of where I want to place everything. We'll do a little bit of a variety here. It's a little bit too close. It should be right there. That's good enough distance. Right there. And then another one can be placed right over here. We just need to move this nice park. Okay. So if I can put this one, oh, wrong one, right here. That will be great. It actually connects. <laughs> it, it's just slightly off. <laughs> like five units off or something like that. Something like that. There. That's good. In fact, I think that's kind of dead on. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, great. And then, uh, so I use nothing but vanilla roads, except for my frontage roads. It's the three-lane one-way. Perfect. Perfect. And in case you are curious, like, wait, why do all those match up? That's because I created these. This stack interchange is mine. This highway intersection is mine. And so you can find those on the Steam Workshop. And um, this is the end of the city. I can put another one over here. Is that too close? I don't think so. I like to make it a little bit farther down, though. I can't... Yeah, I can't delete that one. So that's as far down as I can go. Um, it's a little bit closer than I would like. Yeah, something smaller would be better. I, I, maybe I can match it up like right here. 
I think that'll be good. So let me bring um, this down to like right around here. Oh, a little bit lower. A L little bit lower. Come on. There. There. And this one I can delete out. There we go. Bingo! Excellent! And hook up the frontage roads. Highway. And notice there isn't a rail here, but if you did have rail, there you go. Hook up the rail, uh, the rail right there, boom boom, boom boom. And you have integrated four way rail, integrated uh, frontage roads, and a great way to improve traffic flow in a city is by increasing walkability. Voila, you got integrated paths. Let's finish this up. And we will work um, something right here. We will work on the walkability here momentarily. I do want to do that. Solid. Excellent. That looks good. Um, we can do frontage roads here. We can bring them out to like there. It's right there. And then you can terminate them. Excellent. And that means that this road, these people can have another way out. And another way in, frankly, another way in. That's great. So now instead of one way to go right to left, you've got one, two, but then you also have another way to get out onto the highway. Let's get this going the right direction, shall we? Perfect. Well, I can go just straight, can't it? Uh, this should not be a clover leaf. This should be a regular in, uh, highway intersection. This is not a highway. So sh this should just be a regular highway intersection like this. And that will help improve the walkability, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I won't put it in. Um, and then there should be another thing right here. Oh, yeah, let's do the uh, the one that I did not put in yet. Let's do this one. right over there or something like that. Let's flatten the this land out a little bit. Looks like we need to bring this in. Um, that's probably more than I need to do. But yeah, and this should be a regular highway intersection. So I think the use of the clover leaves and the huge highway intersection is a little bit more than what was necessary. So we'll just tilt it a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, terminate the frontage road. On ramp, off ramp. 
these frontage roads can go right in. Bam. Okay, I guess that goes straight like that. And this can hook up right where it was before. Ooh, God, that's gross. Okay. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, the Okay, there's a way to get off here. There's a way to get on. There's a way to get off. What about if you're coming over here and you want to get off? There is not a way. I didn't think so, so let me take care of that. Bam! What the? There. Beautiful. Nice and precise. I like it. It's a little bit steep. There we go. Get the power back. Excellent. Um, there. Okay, so I think that's good. And then I do want to address the walkability. Let's hit play. Just want to make sure everything works. It will, I mean, but I just want to watch it here. I haven't set up any of the roundabouts. Great. Yeah, it looks like it's working great. Oh, is this for walkability? Oh, nice job, Lewis. Oh, that's great. You did a good one right there. What about from the, this side to the other? Let's, uh... Let's uh, take care of that right now. City's making money. Let's use the fancy kind. Let's, let's use this kind. Can't you connect? That's weird. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so that connects that side. This side is already connected. You can see people walking. Look at that. Those are all people walking that couldn't before, and that is less cars on the road. Look at that. Who is this dude? There's some guy with a little bicycle right there. Brittany? Oh, she's an agent at the police headquarters. Where, where do you work at? Oh, okay, cool. Where do you live at? Nice! Yeah, that's great. She had to get on the road before. And people walk in here too? Yup. Great. So that addresses that walkability. Um. Yeah, none of these are connected. Um, this should be a regular intersection, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Just, there needs to be some more walking. Oh, it looks like you've done some of it. I see it right here. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. Okay. Well, it looks like there already is a, a good amount. These people are kind of isolated on their own, aren't they? There's a highway right here for them to connect to. Yeah, look at that. The queue now starts over here. Yep, good. And they're, they're coming out on the right side, coming in on the left side, so it's set up properly. That's good. So, you know, before the queue was bleeding out to the road, it no longer is. 
Excellent. Let's take a look at our import export. Look at that. I can't remember the exact number, but this is less than what it was doing before. And the export is dramatically less than it was before. So that's very positive. Where's our traffic? 83%. Where's it busy? On this road? I mean, I would just destroy that intersection. It's busy, but it's not, um, not backed up. Let's take a look at the metro. So it's one big loop. Can you see that? One big loop. Okay. How's the usage now? There's still 300 and 400 people waiting. Beefing up the amount of cars. Yeah, okay. We are still quite profitable. So that's good. Let's take a look and see if any of the landfill sites have emptied. They have not. You'll see a little green circle on them. And it shows that they have emptied out. Okay, let's take a look at elementary school capacity. Eligible is 3,000. You got 6,300. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of elementary schools everywhere. High school, you got a lot of them. Okay, well that explains a little bit of the profitability with the city. Whoa. Wait a minute. Why do these people get three universities and these people get zero? I mean, what's, what's going on in this neighborhood? It's like, hey, we're, we're keeping you guys dumb over here? <laughs> That's fine. I did that in one of my cities. That's where you get some of the workers from for the uh, industrial area. But technically, the dumb people should be right here that live next to the industrial area. So. I mean, I, you've got too many, though. Probably should move this one over here. Oh man, you can't fit that in right there? That's too bad. This is gonna be a nice spot too. I'll do that. And there's a need for commercial. So you did a really good job, Lewis, of mixing in your commercial and residential. Solid work, really. Really solid work. Commercial needs to be next to industry, which then needs to be next to residential. Why is there a power line going right through this neighborhood? That must be from your original setup of the city. You can kind of delete that. And that area can then be zoned and populated. Like, what is this? This is high density residential, right? What's this? This is uh, heavy commercial right here. There you go. Heavy commercial. And this is light commercial. There you go. That kind of addresses a little bit of the commercial need, not a whole lot. 
I don't know where else would be a good place to put some commercial. I mean, right here, maybe? What do you got around here? You got some heavy commercial. You don't have any light. There. I'm just looking around where... Maybe right here. Fill that out. I think that's good. Let me take a look and see if there's anything else that we should do for this city. See if we've missed anything. Have we missed anything? What's the unemployment rate now? 15%. Still kind of high. We just kind of, kind of let, got to let this area develop, this, this industry area that we're rezoning. Uh, we took out the intersection lights, um, so that's good. We did the queue. We updated the traffic manager settings. We improved the mass transit. We updated the import-export. Uh, some of the highway intersections weren't as good as they should be, so we updated those. Did dedicated exit lanes or off-ramp lanes. We updated the roundabouts. The city was not profitable, so we updated the tax rate and updated the service usage. So I think that's good. Let me see what else we got. I think that's good. Where are we at on the traffic? 82. Yeah, look at that. It looks great. I'm just kind of like letting it run. See if there's anything else that I notice. for the people that want to come down. It's too steep. That's hysterical. It definitely did not need to be that high. There we go. <laughs> um, let me fix this. citizens can cross every street except for highways so it's good to put paths across the highways I think that's good yeah look at that look at that import is just keeping on dropping industry area is a little bit on the big side kind of want to
There's too much industry and not enough commercial, so I'm just updating it slightly, just slightly. Just slightly. All right. Where are we at? 83, 13% on the unemployment. I think that is good. I don't see any other issues with the city. It's all, it's all good. You can just start blasting through and zoning. Residential, 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 commercial, residential, commercial, right? Um, yeah, I mean, you probably want to start out right here. Put some commercial next to this uh, industry area and build out the residential right here. This is shouldn't this sh should be a regular highway intersection, regular highway intersection, regular highway intersection. Uh, maybe you could do a stack interchange because this is like a highway loop that comes back around. Actually, you don't even need this. There's a highway up here and a highway down here. You don't need this highway in the middle. So I think that's good. Yeah, look at that. Up to 2,000 using this thing? Man, that's awesome. 2,000 people almost using it per week on a city of 57,000. Is there a death wave happening? It's fine. The city will start to grow again. There's a need for residential, so you just start zoning out the residential and you're good. All right. I'm going to stop it right there. Call it. 80? Yeah, I'm calling it. 84. We're good. <laughs> um, so let's summarize what we did. Uh, this cloverleaf ended over here in the industry area. Uh and it would be better to have it get closer to the queue and not too far from the industry area. So we just updated that to terminate here. The cargo train terminal, that's what I mean, the making the highway get closer to the cargo train terminal. Um, this did not have a queue, putting a queue there, removing all the lights, updating the roundabouts, and then a uh, little bit of walkability improvement uh, with uh, just a few little path updates, but the big one was right here where there's a major highway that uh, goes through the middle of the city and connects outside connections. And so we did a stack interchange and then added two new highway intersections to connect this side with this side. And that should be replicated across more of the city um, here here, uh, here, uh, this is not a highway, so it, it could be put right here and just a regular road put up here. Um, yeah, um, so I, I think that's good. I mean, th this highway part could be brought down possibly if this area to the west is bought, but so, and, and then on ramps, off ramps, so working on uh, we improved the highway system, improved the intersections, improved the off-ramps, improved the on-ramps, updated the roundabouts, updated the traffic manager settings, and then updated the profitability, updated the tax rate, updated the budget, and I think we increased the mass transit ridership by four times? Um, and so the next steps, like I mentioned, uh, doing some more highway intersection improvements in this area right here in this high district, you can just fill that out now. There's demand for residential. So start putting that in. Start putting that in with some commercial nearby. Um, this is, is this an um, agricultural area? Yeah, so you can put some industry right here. 
Not too much, not too much. There's already industry here, a little bit of industry here, and then put some commercial and residential. And the city's good. The traffic, wh what did the traffic bottom out at? 24% with no despawning. With no despawning, it was 24% where it bottomed out at, and we're at 84%. And did that in less than an hour. Uh, so this is actually going to be a very short stream, short video. So uh, please, before you go, please do smash that like button if you like the video. And if you want to support me more, uh, you can uh, hit the subscribe or follow button. Obviously, you can hit dislike if you didn't like the video. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch it whichever one you want. Um, and live uh, uh, previous videos and the replay for this will be available on YouTube. Uh, so, uh, Bull Lewis 18, thank you for uploading your city. I uh, enjoyed it, and hopefully not only for you, but for everybody else. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, traffic fix and city fix. Hopefully, he gave you good tips and was a good guide on how to set up a city correctly and how to uh, fix certain problems that may exist. All right, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Thanks, Rebel. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. I'm glad you liked it. Hopefully, I'll catch you in the next one.